Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a series on how to study for your biologies and every video is going to be different. Um, there are going to be three parts to this um, series that I decided to start on my channel. So basically today's video is basically going to be me giving you guys tips and tricks on how to study for chemistry and then the other two videos is going to be covering on a AMP1, AMP2, and of course, microbiology. So I wanted to start on start this series um, just because I have a lot of tips and tricks to give those out there that are probably struggling or are planning to take these classes further on just because I wish people out there would film these videos. That's why I'm filming these videos for you guys. Just because when I took these classes, um, there really wasn't that much information out there. And I feel like people that are trying to get into the nursing program are just keeping their study tips to themselves just because they're that type of they're just that type of person please don't be that type of person when people out there ask you how you studied not want to answer them um because i would go through that literally a lot like i would ask someone how they studied and they just would not tell me like i know getting into nursing school is competitive but i feel like when it comes to studying that we should really all help each other out because I know we all, all of us are really just trying to get into nursing school. So that's why I just decided to do this series on my channel just to help those out there. And for you, if somebody ask, asks you how to study and stuff like that, then you just basically give them advice advice and stuff like that. So if you want to know more on how I study for chemistry, some tips and tricks, some tips and tricks on how I survived that class, then, then please keep on watching. So like how I told you guys, um, I took chemistry. It was twice a day for three hours. Um, I had a lecture on a Monday and a lab on Wednesday. I did have two different professors, so I feel like that helped out a lot just because, um, because we would have two different teachers. They both have had different teaching um, styles. So I feel like that also helped out a lot. So I'm going to be showing you guys my textbook first. Um, this is the chemistry and introduction to general organic and biologic chemistry 12th edition by Timberlake. So this is my textbook and of course it came with the access code. We did end up using the access code online just because that's where our homework was and basically our practice questions were. So as you guys can see, um, I would color coordinate the sections by my exam. So my first exam, I would color coordinate it by a certain color. And then my next exam, a different color. My third exam, different color, and so on. The good thing about this chemistry class, the professor that I had, was that our final was not cumulative. I know there's um, classes out there where professors love doing your final exam on basically all the material that you went over that semester. Our professor, thank God, they did not do our last exam cumulative, which was a good thing for us because chemistry is a lot. It's a lot of math and it's just basically you have to put in the time to study. You have to put in the time to do all these practice problems. It's just basically you. Um, I know there's people out there that they go to lecture, they look at the PowerPoint, and they're like, oh yeah, it's math, that's easy. Um, I get it, I understand the material, they don't do enough practice problems, and um, they do perfectly fine on their exams. While there's others that have to be putting in the time to do more, more extra problems just for them to understand the material. So that was me in that case. So basically, when it would come for me, for me on studying or reviewing the chapter, I would of course highlight the textbook. Um, I basically spent over two hundred dollars just on this textbook, and I was just like, "Well, I can't resell the textbook because you really need the access code for chemistry, so might as well just highlight, do the practice problems in the textbook, and." And so on so basically um like how i told you guys every section i don't know how what chemistry book you have out there 
um, or what textbook is required for your classroom. But my textbook, it would have my textbook it would have practice problems at the end of each section so as you guys can see here i would just basically do them i would do all the extra problems that i could after each section um i know that sounds like a little bit crazy but i'm telling you guys if you re review your chapter or whatever chapter you're going over with you review it you do you do the end of the end of the section practice problems you will be perfectly fine when it comes to taking chemistry um just because you are like i told you guys to do practice problems you could be doing the homework that you might have online that's also practice problems you're just doing practice problems practice problems practice problems for you to understand the material and i feel like like how i told you guys when it comes to this class you just have to do lots of practice problems and you'll be perfectly fine when it comes to you taking your exam if you're not going to be putting in the time to do the practice problems and of course you're not going to be doing so well so i would do that um i would do the end of the section practice problems and of course i would do the end of the chapter extra problems i would basically just do the whole entire chapter's extra problems from top to bottom and of course i would highlight anything that's important anything that i didn't understand and if i didn't understand it then um if the homework didn't make sense the chapter doesn't make sense your professor doesn't really teach it really well then i would go on to youtube so there is this youtuber that i would watch he explains his videos really really well he does an example problem he explain he explains it step by step and you know if you're watching youtube videos of course you can pause and redo the problem until you fully understand it his name is tyler dewitt i'll be linking down his um channel down below in the description box for those that are interested um, so I would watch him when something would not make sense to me at all. And I would not go to tutoring just because I've gone to tutoring. And there's tutors out there that don't really fully explain the material really, really well. They explain it their way. They explain it a different way. So that's when I would go to YouTube. I would watch this guy and he, like I'm telling you guys, I really liked him. Really liked his videos, his tutorials, just because the way he would explain it. He would do practice problems and so on um i think he had my whole entire textbook of chemistry on that youtube channel so that's why i recommend you guys to watch him i did not know about him until i literally just went on youtube and searched up chemistry help chemistry something i ended up just searching chemistry a lot of people ended up coming up until i found him and i was just like thank god i found him because he helped me um pass chemistry also me doing like how i told you guys doing all these practice problems at the end of the chapter and basically just doing i feel like if you do lots of practice problems like how i told you guys you'll be fine with this class so i'm going to be showing you guys my powerpoints um i'm going to be showing you guys just some of them so this is basically all my powerpoints i would just basically just print out my powerpoints i know there's professors out there that they don't offer powerpoints that you just have your textbook but they will put slides on the screen. So if they're putting slides on the screen, why not just record your professor, jot down the slide, and then go back, re-listen to that recording, jot down anything that the professor spoke about. Um, if not, take pictures of the slides if you're allowed to. Sometimes that's illegal to do. Just ask your professor and stuff like that. If not, have if not have somebody else, um, your study buddy, you guys go back and forth with um, taking pictures of the lecture. You guys can probably get the idea of what I'm telling you guys about. But my professor, um, the good thing is that they provided us with PowerPoints. So I would print these PowerPoints before class, of course, in black and white. Um, you know. So basically what I would do when it came to lecture, I would not record the lecture. Our professors did end up getting recorded um, there's a camera in my classroom and the professors would get recorded when they were lecturing those recordings would end up saving and they would be on canvas so so when i didn't understand something i would just rewatch the lecture and see if it made sense the second time around the second time i would re-listen to lecture so like i told you guys these 
are how my PowerPoints look like. And basically, I would just highlight anything that my professor would repeat or they would talk about for a long period of time. Of course, I would highlight in different colors yellow for the vocabulary and then orange for the definition and i would have examples examples on like something that i didn't fully understand or something that my professor would mention and then basically um my professor would provide us with learning checks learning checks are basically just practice problems on whatever material or section we went over and as you guys can see these are the learning checks so it has a problem and it has an answer and stuff like that. So we would go over these learning checks in class. Um, our professor would tell us, okay, we'll do the learning check and in two minutes we'll come back and we'll go over the answers. So we would do the learning checks and then we would go over it and our professor would move on. So the good thing is that this professor, she had examples in her, in her PowerPoint. Which was a good thing because, you know, more practice, the more practice you get, the better you'll understand the problem. So basically, that was my PowerPoint. And of course, you know, you're going to be taking chemistry. Of course, you're going to have to know your periodic table. Um, I ended up color coordinating mine and then I ended up getting lazy and stopped color coordinating it. But as you guys can see, this is how my periodic table looked like. I have side notes, basically it was written all over. Um, our professor would provide us with a periodic table on the exams. I do not know of any professor that has not provided a periodic table, but if you have to memorize this, then good luck on memorizing this periodic table. But our professor, the good thing, will provide us with a blank periodic table, and we basically had to use that for our exams. Now, like how I told you guys, I had two different lecture teachers. So the one for lab, he would always have practice problems for us in the beginning of class. So these are basically the questions that he would ask us. And of course, we had to learn how to draw and stuff like that. We would do it in class. He would explain it um, in an easier way for us to be able to understand the problem. That helped out a lot just because you're doing practice problems in lecture. Then you go to lab, you're doing more practice problems. You're doing more practice problems. I don't know if you guys get the idea of what I'm trying to tell you guys. So basically, um, that is how lab went. We would do our labs and stuff like that. Then I would go home. I would basically do my notes. Um, basically, these are my notes. Of course, color coordinating. I always color coordinated my notes. I provided examples. I, of course, would highlight different areas. And I would know what they would mean i would provide of course examples so what i would do my notes is i would read the chapter or just review the chapter skim through it and i'd be like okay i understand it then i would go back to my powerpoint write down everything and any examples that our professor told us to any examples that our professor gave us um things that we needed to really know for the exam stuff like that i would have them in my notes and as you guys can see color coordinating is your best friend everybody does your notes differently some people do them on the computer i feel like when it comes to chemistry you should really write down your notes like i'm telling you guys practice it makes perfect and you know you, it's chemistry is a lot of math the first half of chemistry is math the second half of chemistry when i took it was mostly more general biology um if we did have to take a general biology it's mostly that comes back translation transcription and i don't remember the the other one rna dna all of that comes back when you're taking chemistry so the first half is math and then the second half is just mostly more like review of your general biology of your general biology course so yes yeah, so that's basically um it on me showing you guys my notes my powerpoints and basically how i would study and like how i told you guys i'll for sure have the link down below of the of the youtuber that i would watch when i took chemistry and of course if you have any questions regarding how to study for chemistry don't be afraid to contact me on instagram comment down below and i'll be more than likely to reply to your comment and stuff like that if you have any other tips or how you studied for chemistry comment down below um so that's basically everything on what you need to know about studying for chemistry and stuff like that and if you are going to be taking chemistry this 
semester. Good luck. Good luck to all those out there that are taking it this semester. You got this. Like, remember, practice, 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 and you'll survive your chemistry class. You'll survive your chemistry class. But yeah, so that's basically it. And of course, don't forget to like this video. And of course, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.